live with a rare disease, your life is probably very, very different. And while lots of young people and uh, can, can grow up and live with rare diseases and have fantastic full lives and get jobs and get married and, and sometimes even have families and, and do the things we all want to do, like get have partners and drive hatchbacks, etc., um, having a rare condition just makes your life that little bit more challenging. Everything you want to do is complicated by appointments, treatments, access to the right doctors, getting the right specialists, having the range of specialists. Again, rare conditions tend to affect multi-systems. So it's not just one condition. So you're gonna have a number of doctors probably dealing with you. And this is obviously really disruptive to relationships, to having good careers, and you need really understanding employers to, to manage these more effectively. And in some countries, really great health insurance to make sure you can pay for all these, all these treatments as well. And again, um, as people get older, what they find is sometimes the specialists to help you manage these super rare conditions just aren't there. That we really are very new science and we're just starting to develop and help people with these conditions get to adulthood. And so sometimes there just aren't the specialist adult services around that can make things better for you and have a joined up care service that often in paediatric services is much easier to find and, and, and to have experience of. So that can be really stressful as well. Knowing that there's the right treatment here, the right treatment there, going hither and thither can be exhausting for people. And seeing the right specialist who understands the condition can put all the different challenges together and understands the wider impacts can be really, really ex uh, exhausting. And what we really need to remember is that these people are people. That people with their conditions just want, as I said before, the same things that we do. And to be included and to be spoken to and to be treated as regular human beings. And I see people every day talking over or talking around or talking to the carer and not talking to the young person or, or perhaps slightly older person who's living with a condition. And what they really need is to be remembered that they're people and they have the same dreams that we all do. Uh, and in the words of Belinda Carlisle, we dream the same dream and often want the same thing.